Hello, my name's Troy. And I'm Andrea. I know there's a lot of people out there that want to use FieldView. They're so excited to use FieldView, but maybe they don't have the right rate controller. They have a, um, you know, maybe a 491 or a 591, um, and they're not able to actually get a rate out of that out of that piece of equipment. So we still do have options. We have things called incompatible rate controller, and I want to show you how easy it is to set it up, and that you can still map and get a lot of value out of FieldView. And the great thing with this incompatible rate controller setup is we can use it for a lot of our pieces of equipment. Cedars, planters, sprayers, tillage, and hydras, all those types of things, we're still able to map those trials that we want to do on our farm without uh, maybe being 100% field view compatible. So the most important thing about this is setting up our equipment properly to be able to map with that incompatible rate controller and uh, getting that GPS signal to our drives. So let's go into equipment here. And uh, our tractor we would set up just like normal. Uh, you probably already know how to do that one, so we're gonna skip that today. Let's go to a cedar first. Add new equipment, hit cedar. Uh, I know in your area, Troy, we get a lot of 591 monitors running burgos. Yep. So uh, let's use that example here. I'll choose a burgo drill. Uh, air cedar model, choose the one from the list that you have. Air cedar rows, select how many rows you have would, uh, on, your, on your drill. I'm gonna choose 50 for today. 12 inch row spacings with a drawn hitch style. Yes, I am using an air cart. Um, select this air cart here. We can choose Virgo. Find the number you have. If you don't see your number on the list, this is where you can choose custom. Um, it doesn't matter because we are using that incompatible rate controller option. Uh, select your tanks. If you did want to map seed and two other fertilizers with incompatible, that is an option for you. This is a great place if you're going to um, try to increase fertility uh, for a couple of passes, decrease fertility for a couple of passes. So uh, we can still map all of that if you're doing variable rate that's where we can. But with a lot of those monitors, they don't have the capability of variable rate. So it's, it's still a great option for us. When we get to the cedar display here, this is where we want to choose that incompatible display option. And give that cedar a name. And um, go into that seed exit. Actually, sorry, before we go into there, when we are using our equipment in the field, we do want to make sure those measurements are correct. So you see that wheel distance measurement on the first screen. Uh, if you're not quite sure if that doesn't seem right, I'd best to uh, go out there with the tape measure, make sure we got that accurate. Go into that seat exit. We've got to turn this controller on. This is also where we're going to select that incompatible rate controller option. If we wanted to ca capture that fertility layer, you would go into that application A. It is currently disabled. We'd turn that on using incompatible rate controller option. And then we'd have to add a measurement in here. Same thing if it's, uh, if you don't know what that measurement is, would recommend a tape measure. And then we do have to double check that air cart setup. So one thing that does show up here is a, a toe between or toe behind uh, air cart, which is pretty important when we're in the field. Got to make sure we have these measurements correct to be able to map properly. So I'm just going to throw a, throw a number in here for now. And I would recommend going back and checking these. So I have a seed application A. I only need to map one fertilizer for today so I can hit done. And now I have that incompatible seeder set up. So just to check and make sure that we have everything working, I'm going to hook up a drive really quickly and uh, see if Andrea can, can connect to it. So. Um, let's give it some power. Uh, the drive is flashing blue. Andrea should be able to connect to it. And again, to connect to a drive, if we go all the way back, we've got to start in our settings of our iPad, search for that Bluetooth setting. It's going um, to ask for a long number. You're going to connect to that, and then you're going to go into the Field View app, and then you're going to go into Settings, Devices, and then tap to connect device. And once it's connected, just to make sure we're good to go, tap on that edit button, go down to the diagnostics part, and just make sure that GPS uh, is getting a signal. So whether you're tapped into the, your case GPS and your case tractor, John Deere, whatever that case is, just make sure that we can see uh, GPS coming. If you have one hertz, you should be able to map, um, and it looks like we're good to go here. One last thing we want to show you is uh, what you have to do to start mapping. So if I'm going to go, I'm just going to go to my map screen um, on my iPad here. 
and select a, any field that I have. Uh, the field that I'm going to go to today. Yes, I want to make that one active. Uh, select a hybrid, select a rate, confirm. You can see uh, my tractor's in the field there ready to go. And you see that uh, not planting tap to start button. So that's what we'll have to tap on when we want to start mapping. Um, a trick to this is that if we do seed our headlands, spray our headlands, plant our headlands, any of those first, we don't have to tap to start and stop every single time we're turning around. Field view will recognize that we've already seeded or sprayed those areas. And uh, yeah, that's how we would do it. Very similar to how we would set it up for a sprayer. Again, you would have to go in, set up a new sprayer, make sure that you have your distances, your widths accurate. And then you also want to make sure that you're setting those to incompatible ray controller. You'll have that same thing illuminate on the side. Once you're connected to the drive, it'll be all green. And at the bottom, it's going to say tap to start, tap to stop. The only time you see that is when you're set up for incompatible. If we're collecting data from the piece of a, from the rate controller, that won't be there. It'll just automatically map that. And if you have questions about whether or not your GPS is compatible with FieldView, if you can use this, uh, get in touch with our, our support team, our activation specialists, more than help, happy to help you work through these situations. Hope this helps. Thanks a lot.